going to do is we're going to take this polynomial here, we're going to divide it by x minus 2, and we're going to write it as the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. So I want to show you a method to help you remember you know, how to set this up and understand why it works. So let's just take a simple numerical example. Like say we had 20 divided by 6, right? So we say how many times does 6 go into 20? Well, it goes in there 3 times. 3 times 6 is 18, and the remainder is 2, right? So if we want to get back to 20, which is like, in this case, like our original polynomial, what do we do? Well, we take 6 times 3, okay, which is our divisor times our quotient. So 6 times 3 is 18, plus the remainder 2 gives us back the original 20. So we have divisor times the quotient, plus the remainder gives us back our original polynomial. So you're with me so far? So let's go ahead and do that in this problem. So what we're going to have is we're going to have, we're dividing by x minus 2. So when you do the synthetic division, you take the opposite sign here. So if it's x minus 2, you're going to put positive 2 here. If it's x plus 2, you're going to put a negative 2. If you want to see more about synthetic division, I'll put uh, a link in the description below to a video I did talking about how to do synthetic division. We've got 3x to the fourth, 0x cubed, 2x squared, 5x, and negative 1. So I put a 0 in for a placeholder since we didn't have any x cubed terms. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the 3. I'm going to multiply in the diagonal. Add straight down, multiply in the diagonal, add straight down, multiply in the diagonal, add straight down, multiply in the diagonal, add straight down. This last number here, 65, that's our remainder. And so what we want to do now is we want to write our quotient. Quotient is our answer. Because we started off at 3x to the fourth, this is going to be 3x cubed. It goes down by one degree. Okay. And this is our remainder. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, polynomial, p of x is equal to our uh, divisor, which is what we were dividing by. That's going to be the x minus 2 times our quotient. Quotient is our answer. That's this here, 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 14x plus 33 plus our remainder, the 65. And you can double check your work on this if you want. You just have to multiply these two polynomials together, add the remainder 65. You're going to get the original polynomial back which is this quantity up here. So great job. Again, if you want to see more about synthetic division, check out the video I did right there. Otherwise, I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.